Hey, what's going on, Gadgets and Gouges? This is Good Gadget and Greg, and I'm back with another video. And this one's pretty bittersweet. Um, so today is my last full day in Kuzumaki in Iwate Prefecture. Um, yeah, it's pretty bittersweet. Like, I'm excited to travel more and do something new be someplace new, meet new people, experience new things. I'm really excited about that. But for the last three years, I've really settled into Kuzumaki and I've really grown to love living here. The people are really nice. Um, the scenery is gorgeous. I love just to like drive around or walk around and see everything. Um, have to cut the video so I was hoping to get through this video without crying but in the middle of shooting it someone decided to show up to my house and give me pictures of uh, the party that we had yesterday and uh, a card and everything so yeah <laughs> like I said bittersweet um, so I am moving tomorrow from, uh, Rokosho, I mean, uh, from Kuzumaki in Iwate to, uh, Rokosho in Aomori. Uh, it's about two and a half hours away by expressway, like 12 bucks for tolls. Um, yeah, that, that didn't help. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really going to miss living here. I live in a pretty old house and, um, like I, there's mice in the walls and my toilet has no plumbing. It's just, it, it is literally just a seven foot drop hole in the ground that I need to have someone come and suction everything out of there. <laughs> it's disgusting. And so, and like, I have to like, especially in the, like in the winter, it's not bad. But in the summer, when it's hot, <laughs> I have to like put five or six like little air condition. I mean, uh, like, yeah, like little air uh, purifier or, you know, things in there and like open the window because if I don't, it's just going to smell terrible in there. So, like, there's that. Um, like, it's there's a, it's really easy for insects to get in here. So, every now and again, a stink bug or, like, some spiders will get in here. Um, yeah, it's just, like, a really old fairly nice. I mean, like, I'll show you what it looks like in a bit. But, um, yeah, it's just like a really old house. But I really do love it here, you know? It, it has really become home for me. And Kuzumaki has really become home for me. And as much as I'm looking forward to going out and trying new things and, you know, furthering my adventure in Japan, I really don't want to leave, you know? It's, I, I have really thought of this place as home and these people as family. And so it, like this, this past week has been really, really painful like very sweet in a lot of ways, you know, like, like just a little part of me, I, I tend to, you know, have a lot of issues with, uh, my, like my self-esteem and everything like that. So sometimes I, I don't really feel good about myself and I struggle with trying to really 
you know, recognize the positives that I do and, you know, the good stuff. And it's always, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm good enough in some ways. But like this week, you know, every day, I've been getting so much love from the people of Kuzumaki. And it has been amazing, you know? It's been day after day, people going out of their way to show me that they really did appreciate me being here. And, you know, it doesn't feel like a, oh yeah, the teacher's leaving, so make sure you, you know, you make them a cute little card kind of, no, it's like people know my hobbies and know what I like to do. And, you know, I've gotten a lot of gifts that really feed, literally feed into like the stuff that I'm passionate about. You know, one teacher gave me a cookbook for uh, Obento. Just today, I received so many like utensils and everything to make really fancy uh, Obento, like to like really design the onigiri and things like that. Um, I received a um, an apron that says Greg's Kitchen on there. It says Greg in English, but kitchen is in katakana. And that was really cool. Um, you know, it, it's just been really great to have people support me and support my hobbies and things that I love to do. And it's so great to have everyone show show me so much love, you know? And it really makes these last three years something special to me. And I really do wish I could stay longer, you know? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, uh, I am looking forward to going out there to Aomori, you know, meeting the new kids and trying some new things. But, uh, Kuzumaki is going to be something special for me. And, uh, I really look forward to coming back. <sighs> but that's it. So that this video isn't such a downer. Let's go ahead and look at my old apartment and uh, see the new one. You know, let's let's see what's going on there. <laughs> Sorry if this is a bummer. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be, but uh, yeah, let's get going. Okay, so this is the outside. Here's my car. has to be quick because it's actually the next day and uh, the person who's supposed to be coming to help me move is on their way so this is the sink for the bathroom and my washing machine my bathtub and shower and outside and so you can actually like let the bathtub flow over and it'll just drain. And then, uh, let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so this is the bathroom. As you can see, there is no plunger because it is just a hole in the ground, a seven foot hole. And yeah, somebody always has to come and empty it out. And the reason why the toilet paper roll is back there is because this is actually a cover for a squat toilet. I'm not gonna show you that because it's disgusting. But um, yeah, so you're actually supposed to sit the other way and do your business, not this way, so. And as you can see, the toilet and the bathtub and the sink are all in separate rooms. So you don't have to worry about taking a bath while somebody has to use the bathroom. So this is my upstairs and I didn't use it the entire three years. 
So here's one bedroom with a really nice view. And then a slightly less nice view, but still not bad. <laughs> and then I actually had another bedroom with a pretty nice view. Let's see. I'm scared to open it. Oh, oh wait, this is the door for the bedroom. So it's like that. So yeah, it's a slide door for the bedroom. I'm scared to open this because I actually have mice. They don't, they can't get like into the house, but you can hear them through the walls. So and now I gotta be careful because as you can see, the steps are very small and very steep. So yeah, here's my kitchen. And uh, it's actually a really, really big kitchen for like a Japanese house. And uh, here's all my junk, don't worry about that. <laughs> and here's the sink. And uh, right here is just like regular cold water. And this is all the heated. So when you turn it up and press the button, the gas kicks on and you uh, have hot water. So yeah, this is actually a really big kitchen. And then here is the living room that doubled as my bedroom. This is where I had my TV. And then here's the closet. And yeah, this is where I lived. And you can't really see outside because there's bubble wrap on the windows because there's not any insulation. And then tatami on the floor. So yeah, this is where I lived for three years and as you can see it's pretty old and got some stains on the walls from a long long time but uh it was actually a lot it was actually really cozy and nice to live you get used to it and it's this place is really big compared to some places like i've got a friend i went to visit her in miyako and her bedroom and her entire apartment was as big as my living room. Probably not this big even. So let's go ahead and get going to the new place. Okay, so here's the new place. It's my little driveway. Here's my little parking spot. Well, not mine. Somebody's parking in my parking spot. But uh, yeah, I gotta buy curtains. Let's go inside. Never had to lock my doors, but here is where you keep all your shoes. It's just me, so, you know. And that's where my mail falls into. And right immediate, right away you hit the kitchen. Nowhere near as big as my previous kitchen, but it does have, you know, some good air ventilation. Got my cabinets. And then this is where you control the heat of you know of the water and it this and over here there's all my kitchen stuff and then here is my bathroom very loud sink and then if i plug this in it'll make a whole bunch of noise but it'll also blind everybody so yeah but we save in power in this house so 
And then my washing machine. And then here is the bathroom. Oh, the shower bathtub area. As you can see, it's nowhere near as big as the previous one, but it has a mirror so I can shave my head and I can actually see what I'm doing. And then there's the faucet connected to uh, the shower. And here is my way smaller bathtub. It's still deep. And then you have this. And that way it keeps the water hot. So you can leave it in there for a while and you won't come back to a cold bathtub. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, and then I even have a door here. Oh, right, the bathroom. So, and from the kitchen, the bathroom, the toilet is right here. And turn that on. And it's got a little sink. So when you flush, you can wash your hands. You don't gotta go anywhere else. It's not a, a super fancy toilet, but you know, it's not a squat toilet, so. <laughs> okay, now, and then this leads into the living room area. There we go. I was worried for a second. And you can see out the front. Yeah, I need to buy curtains. Got air conditioner and heater system. This is more than likely where I'm gonna keep all my workout equipment. Some more stuff over here. And then here is the bedroom. I put plastic in the window, some bubble wrap in the window so no one can see me running around the house naked, at least not in the bedroom. And then because I have an actual little area there, I can use my table for studying and eating like a proper gentleman. Hey, Kusa. And here's my closet. Pretty big. I would give up most of this closet so I could have like a bigger bed area, bedroom area or kitchen. But honestly, the bedroom area is pretty big. But yeah. That's uh, this is the new place. Not as homey and uh, nice as the other one. Well, nice as the eye of the beholder, but you know, I'm sure plenty of people are like, this is a major upgrade. <laughs> but yeah, this is great. It was really nice. All right. After a long, long day of moving. I can finally sit down and have some dinner. My lunch consisted of an onigiri and a little cup of chicken nuggets. So I got a little bag of chicken nuggets. I got some udon. And I actually got a couple of little gifts from some people before I left. So I got a beer and then I got some little wasabi snacks. So let's eat this and let's talk about how the day went. So, Actually, I've never had this before, the udon. Oh, it's got some bonito. And looks like some cabbage. Yeah, this looks actually, this smells amazing. It's thick old noodles, thicker than a snicker. Mmm. Yeah, that was really good. Oh, wow. I 
it's way better than I thought it was going to be. Now, don't get me wrong. It might just be because I'm hungry. I am not, you know, too proud to say I am starving right now. But this is really good. Pork's a little overcooked, but I mean, what are you gonna do? And Lawson's karage is Lawson's karage. <laughs> Seriously killer every time. So, <laughs> so in case you're wondering. Moving was interesting, you know. I did get a little teary-eyed as I was leaving, which is weird because I've moved around a lot, you know. I've moved from my home in Chicago to, you know, Great Lakes when I went to the Navy and then I went to Virginia and then I went, you know, all over the world on two different aircraft carriers and then I settled down in California and then I moved. So I've moved everywhere. I've lived in Florida a couple times, different places in Florida. And uh, I've never really gotten that emotional about leaving a place. It's normally just been a, hey, new opportunity, let's go kind of thing. But yeah, this one hit me pretty hard. I'm surprised that I felt so close to Kuzumaki. Um, and uh, yeah, as I was driving through the town on the way to, you know, where I needed to go, I'm like looking around and, you know, all the memories start coming in. And <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I gotta, I gotta drive. I gotta be able to see the drive. So uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, I'm, I was surprised at how much it hit me, but you know, I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> I'm not going to cry myself to sleep or anything, hopefully. Um, but, uh, it was a two hour drive here on the freeway, $11 toll, but I didn't have to pay for it and I didn't have to pay for gas. So, and, uh, the whole rest of the day was me going from one place to another doing all the red tape stuff so having to sign my name a million times bay jr gregory johnson bay jr gregory johnson over and over and over and over and over and over again and it wasn't even in the right order <laughs> so i had to like do it in this weird yoda speak <laughs> of like my last name plus the suffix and then my first name and then the middle name at the very end. Mostly, I think it's just because uh, the middle name is not important whatsoever, but they need the full name. Uh, so I had to go to the Board of Education, say, you know, introduce myself. And, hey, you're going to see me a lot for the next couple of years. Um, town Hall, surprising amount of attractive people there a lot of attractive women there um let's see uh let's see yeah then i had to go to the bank and uh meet the landlord and get my fancy new house and yeah after all of that it's like six o'clock now i think but yeah, it was a it was a very full day, very tiring. I was surprised how much of my stuff fit in the truck that uh, that was rented for me. I was I was set to just leave a few things behind, like okay, this I can leave behind, that I can. No, I was able to bring everything. So I was actually really surprised that I didn't have to leave anything behind, and pretty happy actually. Surprisingly enough, I'm pretty happy that I got to bring everything that I have with me. And, uh, you know, I cleaned up my apartment the best I could. 
in like the short amount of time that I gave myself because I procrastinated way too much. But <laughs> but I'm here now. Everything's paid off, and uh, now we're in Rokosho. So Good Gaijin Greg is no longer in Kuzumaki. From now on, I'll be coming to you from Rokosho Mura in Aomori. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring some new stuff, you know, some cool new places to show you as I go through some new cool places and we can both experience together. So uh, hopefully you guys stay, stay with me and uh, let's get through these next couple years together. All right, see you.